Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Well, today is a Tuesday, and the guy's been here working about half an hour. And I've been in there battling, trying to get a couple videos posted. And what's sad is I had them already last night. I had them uploaded. I just need to get thumbnails out in the description. Before I was having problems with my internet, but, but now it is uh, my computer. But this computer's kind of been giving quirks for a while. It's several years old, my laptop is. It was uh, no high-grade, uh, high-end graphics computer to start with. But it's done me a ton of work, of all kinds of work. I mean, I take care of my stuff without a doubt. I have every computer back home, every laptop I've ever owned. And through business, I own quite a few. Uh, and believe it or not, they all still work, even though some of them can't even be software updated no more. Windows don't support them. Um, every computer still works. Well, I have bought a new computer maybe about a month, month and a half ago, and uh, I just haven't fully transformed over to using it. And I bought a really good one, a gaming laptop. Uh, the reason I bought a gaming laptop because it has a really fast graphics card inside of it really fast processor on both the motherboard and the graphics card and lots of memory I mean a gaming computer is pretty much just like a computer you need for video editing because that fast processor speed so I've been slowly getting transformed over to it you know uh, I've got my editing software loaded I've loaded some other vital apps and stuff that I use and getting the browser I like to use set up and it's been a process where if this other one was to just crash crash on me I uh, I could be up and going maybe within a week or so I may begin using that other one but today <laughs> it my old one about made me want to throw it out here in this puddle of water boy <laughs> uh, so be life but I'm I'm really loving my new laptop it's like it is it's so nice and I know I'll have it for years to come because I keep something till forever I mean I do um, but it's so nice I've just been babying it I just don't want to get it all beat up and scratched up because I do uh, sometimes use it around all this work environment well let me see what all is going on here right now and get this day started well, it's preparing the form in the room in here where they're waiting for me to go in there and tie up a couple of things. Just take me a minute to do it. And then you're getting all this prepped right now for that room, right? Yep. And uh, you see, he's a man of so many words today. Did you, did you hear that long answer he gave me? <laughs> yeah. So they've been going around just finding a lot of scrap and cutting up scrap. Uh, no pieces no pieces go unused we, we, I've had them gathering up if it's a piece of black plywood or any kind of plywood or cocoa lumber uh, don't throw it don't throw it out you might even need to use it in a shim or even the tiniest of little form Miss Melinda is doing what Miss Melinda loves to do she is over here gardening Man, and her basil is looking so beautiful. That girl loves growing that basil. It looks really good, Mo. Mm. Look at that basil down in there. Man, oh man. This girl's been on a mission. When she gets on a mission, don't get in her way. <laughs> Hey, now what's this growing right here? Huh? I don't know what is that. It, it's a watermelon. It looks like watermelon, doesn't it? Yeah. So you, it just started growing. You just left it, huh? Well, sometimes you just throw a, a She seed just throws seeds, seeds and whatever sprouts, sprouts. Yeah. Man, I just like the looks of that black ochre that I ordered that time. I hope we keep that going for a long time. It's pretty cool. Well, I'm going to get busy right here. Um, Joel, 
the steel is here for um, that front balcony and all. We could get that tied in too because I got to put some electrical in underneath there. So this is the only place right here that we haven't tied in any steel. And I've got some lights that need to go in here that's going to shine down below. So uh, Joel's sticking a couple uh, pipes sticking up for those drains that will be in here. And we're going to pull two layers of steel in this. This is sunk lower than the rest because this is where you're coming in at your front door. And we want it to have a little recess to it and then you'll step into the front door. They actually recessed it just a little bit too much, but they did it because of that plumbing for those drains right there. And we didn't want those exposed. So uh, concrete will be a little bit thicker right here, but it'll work out okay. We're gonna double layer, double map this as well. So I told them go ahead and get their, their first grid tied in like we did in here. So I can get the electrical boxes set and the conduit and then they can come put their second matting in afterwards. Charlotte? Charlotte, is that you? Yes, me, boy. <laughs> Would you call me Wilbur? <laughs> Man, I'm gonna get Daryl for that. <laughs> uh, Something funny, you guys. You know, I was calling Melinda Charlotte, Charlotte's Web, and uh, our best commenter and supporter out there, old Daryl, that's been with us for a long time. <laughs> he said, if Melinda's Charlotte, that makes me Wilbur the pig. <laughs> I'm going to get him. <laughs> uh, and when I told Melinda that, she almost cracked her rib laughing, boy. <laughs> Oh man. oh man, yeah. This one, there's a one big you see that? Yeah, it got cucumbers this growing. One. Oh, that one's really growing, isn't it? Yeah, see that bunch here. Boy, you do, you got them here everywhere. There are, what I'm doing is uh, I make it uh, self uh, pollination because there's no bees here. I'm the bees. <laughs> you're the bee? <laughs> yeah. So you're a spider and a bee, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't that be scary if spiders could fly around like a bee? Man. <laughs> Uh, well, so what she's saying, she's been picking off, uh, she did a little research online yeah. <laughs> and she has been picking off what a male flower and taking it around and using it to pollinate the other flowers. So, uh, isn't that what you said you told me you were doing? You're right. Am I all right? Yeah. yeah. And so she's been the bee busy here pollinating everything. <laughs> The queen bee. She's the queen bee. Don't forget that. I just got done pulling all that wiring up in there. Had to pull it through all that rebar. Get in there those boxes. Man, here's a tight fit. We'll put some grooves up in my arm there. I got stabbed up and cut by some of that wire too. Trying to reach in through all that steel that's already tied. But uh, I got it done. Drew a little blood, but I got it done. Well, that is it. That's all of the electrical is completely pulled down in these rooms down here. For the lights, for the wall outlets, for the hot water heater, the CR, every, everything everywhere, it's all pulled. So that's pretty cool to get that done. I'm absolutely happy for that. And, uh, so now on to the next thing. Thank you, Mike. My, my. Now on to the next thing. Well, as soon as they get a little bit of steel tied up there on the front, where I can put the boxes in up there for the lights shining down underneath the parking area, underneath that little front balcony right there where the front door is. I'll get the light boxes set there. Mike will help me pull the wiring on that. And I uh, think that too will just about conclude all of the wiring including for the outside of the house here as well and these lights that will surround all of this underneath here shining down uh, we set that up for a three-way switch so we can turn all those on from the front or the back either one so if we come in from the beach and it's dark and we come up we can flip them all on from the back and vice versa if we come in from the front so that's pretty cool too and uh 
It's gonna look really nice when all that's lit up with those lights spaced all evenly around. It's gonna be pretty awesome. I got them up here putting on the double matting now. Coming through with the second layer. We got our electrical all pulled. Just some little small places that I got my mock chisel in place out to get one conduit down right now. I pulled Marlon and Nardo and Uncle from down below where they were working on some forms. There's too many people in that one spot working. Put them up here to put this matting in. So they're going across this one direction right now, and then they'll be coming back across again through the middle here and filling that in again another direction. So we have a nice tight grid of steel up here. Looks like Thursday is going to be the day to do the pour. Uh, I'll be ready for it to be done and over with. So I mentioned in the past in videos through the past couple of years that I have, a, uh, I have a nerve condition from an accident that I was in, an explosion that I was in, and uh, I have attacks, and I have good days and bad days, and Today is not 100%, but it's trying to be one of those bad days. And uh, it's got me kind of going slow. It's not a full-blown attack because those put me laid up. And you guys get filler videos or no videos on those days. But yeah, tell you what, in a blink of an eye, your life can change. Now... I might make a video just on it sometime. My wife be there with me on it. But I, uh, if you're guessing, oh, he must get disability. I could have. I was 100% approved for it. They were ready to fund my account. And I, I declined it. That stupid, foolish pride of mine. You know, my wife's like, why did you do that? I said, man, it's my pride. I've always made my own way my whole life. And I just, I didn't want that. I didn't want it. I didn't want to be labeled. And uh, I didn't want have to be doing appointments and follow-ups and anything. I just wanted to be free and free of any, any chains, any government. Now, to you guys that are watching this and your own disability, I have no problem with that. Each to his own. I have no issue. I'm not criticizing anybody on it. 
I'm just talking about me and my foolish pride. But uh, I definitely fit in with Filipinos over here full of pride, right? They're very proud on things too. So nevertheless, uh, I have this condition called chronic regional pain syndrome. And so the first word says it all, it's chronic. And it can be extremely debilitating. And the pains from it is uh, some of the highest pains out there, right up next with childbirth. So I see what you're doing. You're making my favorite right here. Yes. <laughs> Man. Let you want to. She's the one doing it, huh? Yeah. Because I'm cooking your food. Firecrackers. Yes. Dynamite. Which is it? Both. They're a dynamite or a firecracker. According to how hot you make them. Can you roll us up one there, Joanne, and then see you make one? Uh, 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 no, put those seeds, throw them over here. Yeah, throw those, don't throw the seeds in the trash can, throw them right in here. Yeah, they'll sprout. And then Melinda will transplant. I remember that one in the U.S., right? I suffering, right? <laughs> From all that, all yeah. All the remedies, I've tried it, so that just on it too. <laughs> yeah, where you kept cleaning all those peppers and it really got in your skin, didn't it? So she took a lumpia wrapper and she's taking a very crooked <laughs> pepper. <laughs> it's like it's got a leg. Oh, look at this. <laughs> then she put some cheese and right there some uh, condensed milk it's a sweetened condensed milk and then she just rolls it up right there and a lumpy a wrapper and when they deep fry that man you get the sweet and the spicy oh my goodness it's so good it is so good. Hey, by the way, everybody, yesterday was Joanne's birthday. So how about everybody give my sister-in-law Joanne here, which is dear to us, a big happy birthday here. A big birthday shout out for Joanne. She got a surprise, too, because she didn't know that I was buying her birthday gifts. I went to the mall, and we got her something that she can enjoy. Got her, actually got her several things. Spoiled her. I want her to have something she can enjoy every day, not just only a celebration of one day. Just a little bit. Pretty simple. Now these particular peppers here, they're not super hot. So, you know, you choose your spice how hot you want them. You better know what kind of pepper you're putting in there. Expensive. Oh, 
Well, it's in the afternoon, maybe about two o'clock. It's raining out and trying to slow us down again. The guys, they're, they're underneath most of the forms, so they're not having to get out in the rain a whole lot. But now, the ones up above, though, they're up there tying still, and they're in it. It's, it's been on off misting rain all day. Yep, rain right now. Raining on us right now. What you got, Joe? Got the okra in it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I see it all in there. I was looking at that. Add what you want. So, I see mom's curling her hair. She getting ready for a beauty pageant. Huh? <laughs> Cabbage, cabbage. We eat a lot of cabbage. Okay, so let me turn around here. Have a look at it. So it's gonna be the same uh, out, so you're still gonna be 36 out. Yep. And then between, I like to split these between the, the distance. So how wide's this? Seven. All right. Well, you're gonna be maybe. Uh, Yeah, that, that'd be it right there. That's close enough. 28 and a half, whatever. Yep. All right. Let me, let me look at that real quick, though. This this little area here only has one light. I, I, I just remembered this. This one I want to put in the middle. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one I want to put in the middle. I remember this one now. So at 50, right underneath, right there. Yeah. Is your conduit the right way? Huh? Your tube? Oh, you're going to bring it over here? Okay. 
The next time, yeah. Yeah, that'd be fine. And then, and then these front ones here. It's gonna be the. You want it the same distance in as that. I want it spaced even. So uh, you're gonna need to go just about an inch off this. That was 30. Yeah, you're gonna to have to go over further though. This form's wider. Okay. Yeah. 30. Okay. Yeah. And uh, we want to bring it. Yeah, I want it. I want it on out. Actually, I kind of want it to the back. What I'm gonna do is if cars parked anything, there, I want the light at the front of the car and I want the light at the rear of the car, mm -hmm. not really at the roof of the car. So uh, I think I want it right here at 24. I want the light way out here to the front. So it's all the way at the back of the vehicle. Yep, like that. So if some reason you're underneath there and you need to raise your hood, you can get a little light underneath there. And if some reason you need to be at the back of your vehicle, you get light there and not just down on the roof. Yep, the same. Close enough right there. Don't worry about this stew. Yeah, I don't want it underneath there. Just small adjustment. Extra. All right, so that's gonna be the last ones then, right? And you got my wires up over there already. Yeah, that looks good. Um. You got that one there. We we don't have it back there to that one yet. Yes, sir. You already got it. Yes. Uh, let me go look at that. Okay. <laughs> well, connect this, and I'll go look at that. Yes, sir. Huh? So. Okay. okay. So. Let me look here at that. All right. So I think that's all I want it. And we'll bring it up right here with these. All these coming up is where when you come in the front door uh, to your right. When you swing the door open, and right near the bottom of the staircase, you can flip all the light switches. There'll be a whole panel of light switches there. What lighting? Um, you're almost out of red also. Yeah, well, we don't need that one right now anyway. Looking super good. What do you all think about the the double matting on the steel? This still isn't all of it. They've only going one way now. Then they still got to come back across. Well, they started over there now. They got it. They got it in right here. That's the double matting right there. Turn the camera down closer. It's Melinda's oldest brother there, Marlon. He is a security guard for the power company Ilico. And on his days off, he likes to work here with us. Those beautiful twins are his daughters. Um, don't forget, we still haven't prepared the steel out through the form yet for the stairs. Yeah. So right here, we need to extend out some 16 mm to tie the staircase there. Almost the end of this work day. We got about 40 minutes left. 
and uh, I'm pretty happy. I was having a rough day because that uh, nerve condition I have, I have like flare-up days, you know, and it chose today to be one of those days. So I was very limited of what I could do today. But I went out and I gave the guys tips and pointed out things they need to be working on, and we've been having success with that. Hey, little Melly. Mel's outside watching movies on the laptop with the kids. <laughs> and uh, anyway, I'm, I'm kind of excited right now, and but at the same time, I'm a little bit upset. You know, our brand new TV that we've got just maybe three, three and a half months of watch time total out of, it went out on us. And upon doing a search online, I found out a lot of these TVs have went out and uh that doesn't make you feel good right so we went to to sm appliance where we bought it we took our receipt we took our warranty card we sat down at a desk we went through procedures and they said it would be an at-home service and that a skyworth rep that's the brand of the tv skyworth it's an android smart tv and these brands sold globally and um all over everywhere around the world now uh, it's tied in. I have to look it up now. I can't remember. It's somebody like Panasonic or Toshiba makes the main components or something. The TVs are assembled in each country. It beats out some kind of import duties and all of that by them being assembled in the country where they're sold. So it can be called a Philippines TV or a Pakistan because they're sold in Pakistan or Africa. They could be called a Thailand TV or Australia TV and they're sold in America through Walmart too. A Walmart uh, USA TV I mean I could go on and on in South America and all so by them being assembled locally they beat out a bunch of uh, import tax on that and all well stick to the story we went there they filled everything out they told us that a rep would be calling us the very next day have my phone handy because they're gonna call in order to come out and handle it well, we're trying to vlog and work here. I think the rep might be here now. And uh, and no one ever called. I'll follow up on that. Sent Mel around to get him. So, uh, nevertheless, we never heard anything. And I'm trying to vlog and I don't want my camera and trying to keep a phone, a separate phone, my Philippines phone in my pocket. It was a pain in the butt. Melinda's asking all day. Did they, did they call? Did they call? Did they text you? Did they call? And they didn't give us no number to contact anybody. Well, we tried calling the SM all day long because it would be a big trip to the city to contact them, you know, go see them again. And finally, at the end of the day yesterday, I finally got somebody on the phone and they had never turned in the work order to Skyworth, had never turned it in. And uh, I was pretty upset, but once they turned it in, a Skyworth employee got with me, and he told me that they got several of these models that's had this problem, and that's not really encouraging news to hear. We're about to come in right now. At least he kept his word. The Skyworth rep kept his word. SM though, I told him shame on them, that they made me babysit a phone all day long for a ticket that was never even turned in. Yeah, but so far, I'm good with Skyworth, so far, other than a TV's out after three months. Hello, sir. Come on, come on in. So here they are. I had just started vlogging yes. about this TV repair, oh, okay. and I looked outside and saw you. Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't even know you were. Yes. Come on in, gentlemen. I laid, I laid out a towel here. Can we start, sir? Yeah. I got a towel here where we can lay this TV up here yep. to work on, okay? And if you need my paper, I'll get it out of my backpack over there for the that certificate thing they gave, yeah. So, so far these guys from Skyworth have been honorable on their word. Um, yeah, that's why I put this towel, everything here, you just... You just help yourself. There's outlet right over there, but now when you plug it in, it does zero. There's nothing. Um, hold on just a second. I'll get you a cord. And they changed the motherboard, the main board in the TV, 
very nice gentleman here too very very nice and so they got this changed and we got it back on the stand he's going through the setup on it right now but we're hoping for better luck the skyward tv is uh kind of like a newer brand not real new but it was in partnership with toshiba before and but this gentleman tells me that they're their own company now yeah. no partner anymore and so the new board is supposed to be a skyworth board the old board a toshiba board so we're gonna see at least they were honorable on their warranty that's the main thing that's the most important thing is they were honorable on their warranty I really been enjoying visiting with them here. Oh. Uh, here, I'll be the one. What's the end of another work day? Beautiful evening cloudy but beautiful after a pretty drizzly rainy day and not a hard rain just enough that it really didn't stop us working but it just kind of slows you down a little bit i didn't get to do a follow-through i had guys here repairing my tv i'll cover that in a separate video but melinda's mom come over a bit on the door and said come to the house and eat so we're going to melinda's mom to eat a little bit of bangus and baboy eat some eat some pork so I'm going to close out this day. It's a beautiful, quiet evening here. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Ah, uh, I've not seen her. <laughs> Melinda said that she was around the other day. I'm like, I have not seen her. I didn't know you were still around. The one that the cell, the cell phone was lost. Uh, yeah, you know, oh, never find it? Yeah, never find it. Yeah. Say goodbye. <laughs>